Hello everyone, Kelsey here. I just wanted to quickly talk about dream boards and setting goals. So it's come to my attention that sometimes setting goals can make it seem scary, out of reach, or like if you don't if you don't reach some of those goals, that's your failure. The truth is that that's not what this is for. A dream board or a goal board is something for you to set goals, to reflect on your life and where you want it to be, and some, have something to work towards. So if you don't quite reach these on time, that's okay. Sometimes we'll reach them sooner and sometimes we'll reach them later. But unless we set goals for ourselves, we won't have something to work towards. So this is one way of creating a smaller gap. So we always have what we're doing now and our big dream. All right, and there's this big, ugly gap in the middle. We don't want that gap. We want to be able to have a plan to get from A to B. All right, so that's where that goal board comes in, right? So it can be pictures, it can be words, it can be a mixture, whatever you want. You can write it on a piece of paper, you can make it on your computer. Whatever it might be, we wanna see it because if we know your goals, then we can help you as coach. So this can be done for any part of your life. Um, it can be personal, it can be um, financial, it can be fitness, it can be whatever you want it to be. But setting a goal will help you to know what you're working towards and how hard you need to work towards that and how fast. All right, so it's something to really push yourself. So for example, I set little mini goals all the time, weekly. Um, I'm going to increase my audience by 100 people this week. I'm going to post seven days this week that I did my workout. I'm gonna post seven posts a day. All those kinds of things are little mini goals. Those are mini goals to get to my big goal on my dream board. So on my dream board, you'll see that I'm gonna be, I want to be in shape, the best shape of my life. I want to be able to um, have endurance and stamina when I go on hikes and when I'm running around with my nieces and nephews, whatever it might be, I want to be healthy. I want to be able to make it through internship um, and school without having a student loan. Financial goal. We're renovating our house. I want to be able to contribute my portion of the um, mortgage because um, we've increased our mortgage I want to be able to pay my half without any stress financial goal okay so those are all big goals um, a bigger goal we want to be able to build our own house in four years that's a big scary goal then maybe it might happen sooner and it might happen later depending but if I don't set those goals for myself then it's easy to say oh you know what eventually we'll do it I'm gonna spend money and buy this for a thousand dollars but in reality I could put that thousand dollars towards my big goal my what I want my life to look like and end up like so that's why it's super important for you to set big, scary goals for yourself because it's going to give you something to focus on and something to hone in on and close that scary gap. So your assignment today and must be done within two days is to share either in point form, a picture written out of your goals that you're going to put in your house or a picture done on the computer below. So those need to be there because if I don't know your goals and the other coaches don't know your goals, then how can we help you? So we need to know your goals so we know how to push you and when to push you to go after them. So have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see them. Bye guys.